quick start tutorial on EXO. In this quick start tutorial, you're going to learn how to play one of the six factions of super weird alien races that are set out to explore and conquer space. We have Arnwolf playing as the Robotronica in this example, which is a race of super advanced humanoid robots. And we have starting resources already set up. Um, we start with two free technology cards, two titanium, two helium, and two influence. So this is what we see here, two influence, two titanium, two helium, and we've drawn a titanium drill and the pink rocket fuel. The second player that we have is Big Santa, who's playing the Quechua, an ancient race of semi-gods. The starting resources are a free terraforming card, a religious ship, a military ship, one titanium, one helium, and three influence. This what we already see here. We have drawn the terraforming card and we have already placed the military ship and the religious ship here. As well as the three influence, one helium and one titanium. Now we'll start off with the first round of Arnwolf. He has a lot of resources, but he has no ships as of yet. So the first thing he's going to do is actually look at his price sheet and the science ship costs him one titanium, one helium. So I'm going to pay one titanium and one helium and place the science ship onto his home base tile. Next step, we're going to start exploring. Arnwolf really wants to see what's out there. He is not really happy with this sparse amount of resources on the central TI 270 tile. So it's going to move one step up here. That means we need to draw a tile. And Arnold drew an asteroid tile. Let's make a bit of space here and put down the asteroid tile. That means a lot of different things. On the one hand, asteroids come with titanium resources. So we need to roll a dice to see how many titanium resources there are. And Arnulf happens to roll a three. It means we're going to pick three titanium cubes. Since Arnulf discovered this asteroid, he also has to roll for a discovery, which is the red and blue dice. On red, he will draw one card from the discovery card pile. On blue, he will draw a new advancement. Let's say Arnulf happens to roll a red symbol. That means we have to draw a card from the discovery deck. And it is the space vampires. They can't be seen with reflective telescopes, but you'll notice the sharp bite in the neck. Roll a die. On a 1 to 2, the vampires invade your ship and bite your crew. Lose the ship and one influence. On a 3 to 5, you fight them off. Nothing else happens. And on a 6, you capture one alive and study it. Gain one science point. Now let's see what Arnwolf rolls. And he turns out to be quite lucky. He rolls a six. That means he can capture the space vampire alive and study it. Gain one science point. Now importantly, this card should be placed up so that all players can see and read it and interact with it. Now Arnwolf is going to gain one science point for studying the space vampires instead of getting bitten. He still has a movement left. Uh, he still has a lot of chance left, opportunities left. He still has resources. He also still has the pink rocket fuel. But in this turn, Arnwolf decides he doesn't want to use the pink rocket fuel, fuel just yet. Instead, he sees this opportunity that there's three titanium and he has the titanium drill, which allows him to gain two titanium at once. So next thing he's going to do, he wants to increase his resources by first spending some and building a mining ship onto his base tile and then moving the mining ship onto the asteroid tile. Now he's out of budget. Um, he has used all the cards he wants to use. I said he wants to save the pink rocket fuel first, but he's going to play so the pink rocket fuel would remain in his hand, but he's going to play 
the titanium thread. Meaning, as he ends his turn and he starts harvesting, he can actually harvest two titanium tokens, meaning we're going to increase the titanium count by two and place those two tokens back in the bank. Also, he can harvest through his home base tile, which means he can get one of any, and he's going to choose to get two helium. And with this, his turn has ended, and next turn is Pixanta's. Pixanta is playing the Quechua, and she has the big advantage that she already starts with the terraforming cars, card. Terraforming card means that she can place one extra token on a tile uh, that has her base and a science ship. It can't be her home tile though, because that's already terraformed. Her ship can't move while terraforming, and each turn she can add one exo token. With three exo tokens, this world is terraformed. Gain one science, one technology, and one influence. So this is a very powerful card. It can't be terraformed again, and if an enemy destroys your ship or the base beforehand, then remove all the exo tokens, but gain one science. You can only terraform one world at a time. So this is a permanent card, it's extremely powerful. Every time she builds a base, she can use this card. So she wants to get into building bases rather quickly. And we already have the central tile here, so this is perfect. She can move her science ship one up. She can't go discovering with this, unfortunately, but in doing so, she can pay the price for a base, which costs her one titanium, one helium. She pays the titanium, she pays the helium, and she places one of her bases onto the TOI-270 tile. Now, she still has the military ship left. What's she going to do with this one? Well, she'll start exploring. And since it's a military ship, she doesn't want to just go off in any direction. She wants to be close to the things that she wants to protect and or attack. So she's going to go up here and uncover a tile. And she drew a wormhole tile. Now, if we place the wormhole tile down here, there's nothing that happens right now of resources, but later on the wormhole will allow her to directly tunnel towards another wormhole that might be uncovered. However, it's a discovery, so she gets to draw, uh, she gets to roll the dice and see what will happen. Um, will she get an advancement card or will she get another discovery? And she happens to roll a 6, which is a blue symbol, that means you can get to draw an advancement card. Then these are drawn secretly to your hands. Add one to all your attacks, cannot be combined with other permanent guns cards. She could keep this to herself right now, or she could equip it immediately. And what she's going to do is, she's going to equip it. She wants to frighten Arnwolf. She wants to show him who's the boss. And with this, she ends her turn and she's going to start mining. She can't unfortunately mine here because she has no mining ship on TOI-270. However, she has two bases and each base produces two resources of her choice. Meaning that she's going to build two titanium and two helium. And with this, she passes it over to Anwolf. Anwolf also gained one technology from his titan drill, which we forgot to add earlier. Now, what is Arnulf going to do? We have expanded already quite a bit. Um, he can continue mining here, but he actually can mine two at once. Um, so that's a bit of a, a waste of his mining ship. Uh, the military ship looks quite threatening, and 